99 students, welcome to my channel kung saan marami kayong pwedeng matutunan sa mathematics. For today, ang topic natin is about quadratic function. We will find the equation of a quadratic function given the table of values. Aalamin natin yung equation ng quadratic function by just looking on our table of values. Paano nga ba mangyayari yun? Paano natin ma-identify o makukuha ang equation ng quadratic function by just looking on our table of values? Okay, let's see. Let's have our example para mas maintindihan natin yung topic natin for today. This is our given. Find the equation that represents the quadratic function in the given table. Ito na nga yung sinasabi ko kanina. Given lang is yung table of values. At aalamin natin ano yung equation ng quadratic function natin. Paano kaya natin hahanapin yung ating equation? Let's find out the solution for this problem. So ito yung ating table of values. At ang unang gagawin natin is to select three ordered pairs from the table. Makikita nga natin na meron tayong table of values na given at pumili tayo doon ng tatlong ordered pairs. Ang tip ko sa inyo, piliin nyo na yung mapababang number o yung may mga zero para madaling mag-solve. So left, negative 1 and 0, 0 and negative 1, and 1 and negative 4 be the points on the graph of the quadratic function. Yan yung mga pinili nating points or ordered pair. Tatlo lang, pwede na. So, so, yan ang pinili ko kasi mas madali siyang isolve, di ba? Zero and one lang at maliliit yung numbers. Then, substitute each ordered pair into the general form of quadratic function. Y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. I-substitute natin yung bawat point, okay, bawat ordered pair sa ating quadratic function in general form. Yung y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Unahin natin gabitin yung negative 1 and 0. Negative 1 and 0 muna. Ayan. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Substitute natin or palitan natin yung ating x and y. Substitute natin sa ating equation. Kay y, palitan natin ng 0. Tapos yung x, palitan natin ng negative 1. Kaya ito yung ating magiging equation. 0 is equal to a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. Next, and then simplify na natin. Ang magiging answer natin is this. 0 is equal to a minus b plus c. Sinimplify lang natin yung mga numbers natin kanina. Yung negative 1 square naging positive 1 then times a. b times negative 1 is negative b. Then just copy plus c. Kaya yan yung equation number 1 natin. 0 is equal to a minus b plus c. Susunod naman, gamitin natin yung pangalawang ordered pair. Pag gamitin din natin siya, at i-substitute sa ating quadratic function na y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Palitan natin yung x and y. Ito na, i-substitute na natin yung 0 and negative 1. Negative 1 yung y. Kaya meron ganyang negative 1 is equal to a times 0 yung x natin squared plus b times 0 plus c. Madali lang tong isolve kasi automatic 0 na yung a, 0 na rin yung b, di ba? Kaya ang natira na lang is C. Negative 1 is equal to C. Yun yung ating equation number 2. Makuha na natin yung value ng C. Susunod natin gamitin yung 1 and negative 4. Yung pangatlong ordered pair. Ganun pa rin, substitute natin sa ating equation. Palitan natin yung mga variables. Kaya meron tayong negative 4 as our y is equal to A times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus C. Negative 4 is equal to A plus B plus C. Ito yung equation number 3. 
Isulat natin lahat ng mga equation na nakuha natin gamit yung tatlong ordered pair. Equation 1, 0 is equal to A minus B plus C. Equation 2, negative 1 is equal to C. And equation 3, negative 4 is equal to A plus B plus C. Ano ang susunod na gagawin natin after na meron na tayong mga equation na to? Or tatlong equation. Ito na, number 3 is to solve for the values of A, B, and C of the system of linear equations. Babalikan natin yung natutunan nyo ng grade 8. Substitution yung gagamitin natin. From equation 2, C is equal to negative 1. Substitute the value of C to equation 1. Diba? Meron na nung value yung C natin, negative 1. Gamit yon yung value ng C, balikan natin yung equation number 1. 0 is equal to A minus B plus C. Palitan natin yung C ng negative 1. Kaya nakita ninyo dito, may negative 1. A minus B minus 1. Then, simplify natin. Ang magiging answer natin dito is B is equal to A minus 1. I-isolate lang natin yung negative B to the other side. Magiging positive then, may iiwan yung A tsaka negative 1. Kaya we have A minus 1. Then, substitute the value of B and C to the equation 3. Then, solve for A. Gamit yung nakuha natin na B is equal to A minus 1. Diba? Nakuha natin kanina. Gagamitin natin yung value ng B dun sa ating equation number 3. Yung equation number 3 is negative 4 is equal to A plus B plus C. Palitan natin yung mga variables. We have negative 4 is equal to A plus A minus 1 minus 1. Yung A minus 1 nang galing yan dun sa B is equal to A minus 1. Pinalitan natin yung B nang nakuha natin, di ba? A minus 1. Tapos yung C, yung value niya, sa equation 2 natin, which is C is equal to negative 1. Then, simplify na natin. We have negative 4 is equal to 2A minus 2. Kasi A plus A, 2A. Then, negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. Then, let's solve for A. To solve for A, we need to move positive 2A to the other side and change the sign. We have negative 2A. The same thing on negative 4. Yung negative 4, minove din natin to the other side. Naging positive 4, then minus 2. And then simplify na natin. 4 minus 2 is positive 2. Kaya we have negative 2a is equal to 2. And then simplify pa ulit natin. We now have a is equal to negative 1. Diba? We divide both sides to negative 2. Kaya nakuha na natin yung A, which is negative 1. Meron na tayong nakuhang value ng C. Meron na rin tayong nakuhang value ng A. Papaano naman kaya yung value ng B? Substitute the value of V and C to the equation 3. Then, solve for B. B is equal to A minus 1. Palitan natin yung A ng negative 1. Kaya we have negative 1 minus 1. B is equal to negative 2. Ayan, nakuha na natin yung tatlong values ng A, B, and C. A is negative 1, B is negative 2, and C is negative 1. Ano ang susunod na gagawin natin? Once na nakuha na natin yung mga values ng A, B, and C. We will substitute the values of A, B, and C to the general form of quadratic function. Using the quadratic function or the general form of quadratic function, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, palitan natin yung mga values ng A, B, and C na yun, dun sa nakuha nating value or na-compute nating values ng A, B, and C. Kaya, ayan, yung A naging negative 1 na, tapos yung B naging negative 2 times X, then plus negative 1, then simplify. This is now our answer. Y is equal to negative X squared minus 2X 
minus 1. Therefore, the equation that represents the table of value is y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Nakuha na natin yung equation ng ating quadratic function. Kailangan lang talaga makuha mo yung mga values ng A, B, and C. At sa pinakita ko nga sa inyo, ginamitan natin ng system of linear equations using substitution. Ngayon kung medyo nahihirapan kayo sa pagsusolve nun, meron akong ilalagay na link sa description para pwede nyo mapanood. Or ma-review yung natutunan nyo dati ng grade 8 kayo and ma-apply ngayong grade 9 na sa pagsusolve ng quadratic function. Okay? So, ilalagay ko na lang, i-check nyo na lang. Okay? Para makapag-practice pa kayo. Now, ano nga ulit yung ating answer or equation for this uh, table of values? After natin makuha yung A, B, and C, i-substitute natin yon sa ating quadratic function in general form. Kaya ito yung ating nakuha, di ba? y is equal to negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. Ngayon kayo naman, kailangan syempre mag-practice tayo. Find the equation that represents the quadratic function in the given table. Ilagay nyo sa ating comment section yung equation nitong ating table of values. Pero papaano naman kung ang given ay graph lang ng quadratic function o kaya yung zeros lang ng quadratic function, paano natin hahanapin yung kanyang equation? Yan yung susunod nating topic sa next video ko. Haalamin pa rin natin yung equation ng quadratic function. Yan nga lang, ang given is yung graph and zeros of quadratic function. At kung may natutunan ka sa video na to, huwag mo kalimutang i-like at i-share din to sa ibang mga classmates mo para matulog.